Well, a committee member of Hillview College, and also Robert Ramsahai, the former vice president of Hillview College. Good morning, thank you. Good morning. Vice morning. principal morning. of uh, Hillview College. Good morning, thank you for joining us. Um, 60 years, big 60 celebration. Years, yeah. uh, what, what are we celebrating? 60 years of educational excellence uh, at Hillview College. As you know, you were a student, and today we are claiming ownership of you, <laughs> having done so well, and uh, Akash as well. So it's 60 years of, um, you know, quality education, almost to the point where today Hillview, as you know, having won 42 national scholarship is one of the top performing schools in the country. And those results will be like the, um, you know, the, the, the wind under the sail for a whole year of celebrations that we have planned. There was a, a committee that had been meeting for a whole year, whole of 2014, and we have come up with a program that will last from January to December. From January to December, there's a lot of celebrations there, Mr. Ramsay. Mm. What, are, what are we looking at in terms of the celebratory act? Well, we have a, a whole set here beginning um, on the 10th of um, January when the Old Boys are having its annual award ceremony and we are celebrating the, the contribution of a master panist. Um, his Patrick name is Patrick McNilly, as you can see here. Right. And uh, he is going to be awarded um, honorary old boy and so on. And that, that starts to kick off. Then we have the actual birthday of the, the Healthy College on the 17th with a church service at Armalaya Presbyterian Church. And then on the 19th, that's the Monday, the school itself will have that celebration, and the, the guest speaker there will be the Honorable uh, Tim Gopi Singh, Minister of Education. You know, that look, starts off the end. And I know that you have a lot. Uh, Larry Lala, actually, a mm -hmm. uh, temporary senator, sits in the Senate, also as a former old boy, I feel of you, are saying yeah. that, you know, everybody's claiming their ownership this morning. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, the development and the progress of Hillby College, obviously I know uh, during the uh, last scholarship period, uh, the school did remarkably well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is Hillview's contribution? What's their secret to success? Yes, well, I, I was actually in the very first class in 1955 when the school began, and it's therefore important to understand some of the ingredients for this success. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the ingredients is um, the very active cooperation among the PTA, the Old Boys Association, and the staff and students of the school. That's a kind of partnership arrangement which has proved to be very successful. Now, the active involvement of the PTA transmits to the students that, you know, they have ownership of Hillview College, as a result of which you have enormous amount of loyalty and college spirit. But the amount of wear and tear in the physical plant and machinery is almost minimum because if your parent contributes, contributes towards the development of that school, it means that you feel you are part of it so that, um, you know, they all felt a sense of ownership and, and therefore you don't have that kind of, say, instability or disruption and the plant and machinery is ma are maintained and that's a very important in Hillview. And, um, you know, the, the other aspect of, uh, uh, of the success factor is the fact that, you know, moral education, the religious and moral aspect is well catered for so that almost Monday, Wednesday and Friday, as you will recall, when you were there, you had these uh, morning devotions, yes. <laughs> you know, and uh, they will come and have that. And so that was, the, in your view, did you not feel that that was important? while you were there? You know, it's funny that I can always remember because Richard Kukaram was uh, the principal when I was at Hillview mm. and uh, there was so much discipline. I would always tell Akash, it was really, he was known as a disciplinarian. Yeah. Uh, and at that time, when I did A-levels at Hillview, I think the girl, uh, probably eight to 10 girls max mm -hmm. because they now yeah. started taking girls yeah. in for do uh, A-levels, but it was such a strict uh, discipline code that yeah. everyone would always be on time. Uh, for every, it was such a, because I went to all girls school uh, before that. So it was such a stark yeah. contrast to what I was accustomed to. The reason why in the song we have men of Hillview <laughs> is because, you know, at that time when it was composed by the late Dr. Musai Maraj, it was not co-educational. <laughs> and therefore, you, the old boys have to rethink now about Hillview old boys because you have the girls. 
So we may have to get to the alumni association. I'll make some representation yeah. for that. I know you wanted to add something to that. Yes, in, in the Presbyterian ethos, mm -hmm. if you look at the five Presbyterian secondary schools, they are all successful. Mm -hmm. And that is because the Canadian missionaries, when they started the schools initially, they input all the kinds of infrastructure that they had from the Canadian side of their um, uh, education. So that, that molded us. And as 1962 approached they, and they left, those who came in to take their place emulated what they had set. And that set the standard that has been up to today, that the, the combined five schools have more than one third of the number of scholarships. Yeah, the other factors were, well, yes, yeah, yeah. you know, in 1980 we had the first national scholar mm -hmm. in Dr. Hari Charan. So what has happened now? <clears throat> Hillview is getting almost the entire intake is, is made up of students who have put Hillview as their first choice. So I would admit also that we are getting almost the cream of the crop from the secondary SEA exam. Moving straight So up. the kind of um, capital we are intaking and developing and harnessing is based on almost the, the, the best scholars from the elementary school system are now making Hillview their first choice. So not only you have excellence in teaching, which you can um, testify to, but you have the um, very talented intake of students. The top performing students of East Trinidad are choosing Hillview as their first choice and getting it. And that is the raw material that the school has to d deal with is of excellent color. Now looking at the academic performance, uh, it's always a balance between not only, uh, it's always about creating a holistic student and uh, the academic success coupled with the success in other areas. Let's talk about sports and, uh, and other spheres of life at Hillview. What do you think differentiates Hillview to anything else? Well, we have um, dominated cricket in the past few years. This last year we did not uh, perform as well. But we can't always maintain the kind of momentum, but we'd like to. And in football, we were never much uh, of, of good strength in it, but twice we made the national finals in the history of the, um, the college. And um, in other areas of um, volleyball, we topped it for a number of years. Uh, we went to play in Suriname at one time. So that the school is all wrong, you, you know, People developing all of it. One of the reasons for the introduction of the girls was to strengthen the, the modern languages area. Mm -hmm. But it turned out that some of them came in and did the sciences also. And are competing with our own boys <laughs> yeah, for the science places. But we generally perform better in environment and, and science and mathematics. But no, I mean, the population of girls at Hillview is huge. When I was at Hillview, probably at, uh, in my class, there were 10 girls mm -hmm. uh, that did, uh, did A-levels, and I, I think that was a general, they kept it really small. Well, there was yeah. a lot of naysayers with the introduction of the girls, with the, so few girls and so many boys, things will happen and whatnot. And whatnot. But under Mr. Kokram, everything went well. Mm -hmm. It was a, a, a pioneer case, and it continued up to today, yeah. because there were more benefits to begin. And so that is us today. Now we're celebrating 60 years and I know you have a year of activities. Your closing comments, Trinidad and Tobago. What do you want Trinidad and Tobago to know about Hillview College? Well, we would like to, you know, use this opportunity, you know, to thank the Presbyterian Church in its foresight of having established Hillview College because as I see, there was a lot of unpolished diamonds in East Trinidad, rural Trinidad, and then Hillview came on the scene um, these people now had secondary school opportunities and they have made excellent use of it. So I hope that um, Hillview will continue to be able to develop the human capital of Trinidad and Tobago in an all-round total development of the individual approach to education. Your closing comments. Well, I have written the history and it started from a Kaupen, a lowly Kaupen, to a prestigious institution so that it gives any school that right that they can start at anywhere and we we are on the top so can we hear my can i present <laughs> you this desk as a proud i'm gonna put it in my office <laughs> uh, on your desk for the rest of 2015. i'm gonna double and, and i have this here for <laughs> you uh, and we presenting you with this um, 
flash drive. Right? Flash drive. These guys are a little yeah. took a, a oh, moment too from LV College. So if you wear it around your neck, it'll be very close to your heart. <laughs> I'm going to remember that. A proud graduates of Hillview College. And I know, uh, interestingly, yesterday I actually met with um, somebody that was part of the, yeah. I think, the 1980s, the Intercall Cricket Champion team. So everyone's gaining their, their uh, Hillview So I'd also like um, to present this um, to Akash, but he's not on this set. Oh, so we have this t-shirt <laughs> that we present him that he will wear with dignity and pride. Akash speaks about his Hillview days every day. Yeah. So I, I'm pretty sure that Akash will uh, definitely put that. But uh, yeah. So Hillview College celebrating 60 years and all of the graduates of Hillview College. And I actually, for the first time, even when I was at Hillview, I don't think I ever sang the college song. So this morning I actually did a verse of it. Yeah. Uh, we take a very short break. When we come back, we'll have our final interview for this morning. Stay with us. This is The Morning Brief.